Plastic Junkies back from ToyCon! April 15, and I found some good stuff. My friend Jason helped me. He, he gave me, uh, as a gift, he gave me a uh, PlayStation 3. He couldn't get $10 for it. With two video games, uh, DC Universe and Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. So my finds from ToyCon. The first one I got was a Garfield a plush. Uh, Born to Party came out in... Doesn't even say the date. Man, you know what? Here he is. Born to Party. Plush, 15 bucks. Yep, for one of my uh, peeps from uh, ToyCon. Uh, Andrea? I think it's that, that's her name. Uh, I'm really bad with uh, names. 1978. Nice, Garfield. Goes with my Garfield collector now, uh, collection. Now plushes have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have five plushes of, of, uh, of what's his face? Garfield. I'm gonna put him over there. Then I found my one of my first loose Toxic Crusader character. The bad guy with farms. Pretty cool. I give that five on five. I get the Garfield five on five. Then I found that I found it from my friend Marco. Paid two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents. Then I found another uh Cowboy from Moo Mount Moo Mountains? Cowboys of Moo Mountain? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, five on five. Pretty cool. They're in pretty good shape too. Then I found this from my friend Chris. He's a big G.I. Joe guy. Don't know what it is, but it looks like something from War of the Worlds. I get that figure like a three on five. I really find it cool. He has little little peg holes so you could put something in there. I might have one my Dungeon and Dragons. Then I found this was worth it. Ah, sorry, just getting him out of the bag. From my friend Marco, I got myself the main bad guy of Sektar. The, the bad guy that goes on his uh, bug, the flying uh, creature with the wings were broken. But this guy is pretty cool. Still have his little uh, beetle. Five on five, I got it as a gift. Was I, I bought, we traded, and his weapons are here. And there it is. He has his uh, kind of a machine gun, his shield, and two laser pistols, I guess, that go in holsters on the side, right about here. See, so you just lift this arm up. You put one in there, one in the other one. I don't know if he comes with a sword. I'm not too sure, but you know what? It doesn't make a difference. Comes with whatever I have him with. I'm happy. He's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in the, with his uh, molt, his figure. Even though his, his shield, his shield, his wings are broken. Yeah, I give that five on five. I like. Sectars, they're my favorite figure line, and it's something that I always loved. Now, this is like something that I've been looking for for a long time some Black Star figures. Black Star, his uh, mechanism doesn't work anymore. He's a little bit stiff. He comes from my friend Chris, Chris Anderson, I guess. Now, let's say Chris, he's a big G.I. Joe guy with his trumpet, and I give this five on five. It has no accessories, missing his cape and his uh, sun sword, but it's fine. I don't care about that. I paid $50 for all six figures. There's more. I'm going to keep the nicest one for last. Here's Orbalor with the cape, but he also has his little pink demon. And his mechanism still works. I'm just going to... Hold on. Hold on. No, it doesn't seem to work anymore. Oh. oh well, it doesn't seem to work anymore. No. I don't know, there's a little latch here in the back. I don't know what that is. See? Hold on. See that? I don't know what that is. This is, um... The cape itself is not in great shape. But now I have one with the cape, so... Who cares? I'm just gonna shove the cape back into the hole. And like there's a little hole here. I have to shove 
this cape back into the hole because or else I won't be able to yeah anyways leave that leave it at that then the last one is like creme de la creme for me out of Lulu's figures of this set is ah oh, okay the white knight he works okay yeah the white knight he's missing uh, his weapons but who cares I think he came with a cape I'm not too sure and he has his demon 10 on 5 for this one I really love this one I finally have a white knight a white yeah white knight then I got myself all six of these guys. This was from Toys on Fire. I paid $30. This is the Thor that comes with the head, the two sword, uh, the, and, and the, the helmet for to make uh, Ragnarok uh, Thor um, Hulk. Here is the big hammer that comes with the Hulk and it's one of his arms. Pretty cool with Ares. This version is black, but the original version build a figure is um, uh, brown. I paid him 32. I paid her 20 of my friend Jacques. Jack, very nice guy. That's the other part she comes with. Uh, she comes with a head of leg and a holster. It's hard to see there. Then I got uh, Hella. She comes with an extra head and she comes with uh, an, uh, another arm and another weapon for the Hulk, I guess. I hope so. Yeah, it's for the Hulk too. Yeah, I guess a lot of weapons. Pretty cool. Then I got myself uh, the other Thor that comes with the body, which I could care less about Thor. And just throw crack it open. 20 bucks there. And the last figure I picked up was $20 too was Loki, which who gives a shit about him? Garbage. 20 bucks too. Pretty decent. I have the whole build the figure and I'm gonna crack them all open. Got myself uh, Deadpool Black, back in black. Pretty cool Ven uh, Venom Symbiont Deadpool. Really nice figure. I give this five on five. And I got myself a Thanos from Infinity Gauntlet from a Walmart exclusive. I paid 30 bucks. Off a friend Larry. This is these two I paid like 60 for both. I was happy with that. Nice figure, nice packaging, but packaging, whoop, recycle. Who cares? Doesn't come with a, a I like the re the paint job is much nicer than the, the figure you build. And the last one I got from Luke, a guy that likes to have uh, tons of weird stuff. Uh, that's what I like about him, he has weird stuff. Bob Wire figure. Beautiful packaging from Dark Horse, but the figure itself is pretty cool too. And she comes with a lot of accessories, tons of accessories. And let's see if I can take her out because I'm not going to leave her inside here. I paid this 40, it was worth it. He had it for a while, I guess. So I like this type of female figures. This, I'm just going to open it and put it in my loose display, and that's it. That's all. Oh, yeah. This I'm going to put my Robocop figures. And there she is. Our glory. I'm going to keep the zipper low like this. Oh yeah. 10 on 5. 100 on 5. Nice figure, man. Long hair. Long hair. Me sexy. Me Tarzan. And that's from Toy... Uh, toy Box? They sing uh, Tarz... Tarzan song, the Tarzan song. It's just a funny song. So they're like um, Aqua. Aquarium? No, Aqua. Plus Junkie out. Thank you for watching my short video of... Oh, I have one left. One more. This one I gave it a 10 on 5. But this figure, I got off my friend Jason that helped me. That gave me the PlayStation. This, I give it 100 on 10. Build a figure, King Shark. With a hammerhead version. Paid 90 bucks for it worth every penny thank you jason for helping me for the show and i'm happy that i, I got rid of i helped you get rid of some of your figures and you made some good money too i appreciate it every time you help me i love this figure it's gonna go in the back of uh, deadpool right there next to my green uh, alien that i bought off him for 20 bucks at the last show spice junkie out thank you for watching my video i have my finds from toy con april 15 2018 Take care of yourself, guys. Stay plastic, collect for life, and remember, 
if you don't like the price, you don't buy it. But if you have the money, just go for it because you're going to regret it if you don't. Stay plastic and stay horror for life. Cheers, my peeps.